Hello friends in this video tutorial we are going to learn one more query table plugin for update and delete of MySQL table data. In this video we have made discussion on query table edit plugin. By using this plugin you can make table as inline editor in which you can edit, delete and restore of data. This plugin is easily compatible with Bootstrap. In short if want to use inline edit or update of table then you have to use this plugin and it is easily integrate into Bootstrap. In one of my previous video in which we have used X editable plugin for live table column data update or change, but in that plugin there is no option for remove or delete data, but in this plugin you can also remove or delete table data also. This is the official site of this query table edit plugin. You can download this plugin from this website. Here you can find examples of this plugin regarding how to use and you can also find complete documentation regarding this plugin. So if you want to learn some advanced things of this plugin so you can do that. In this video we will discuss how to use this plugin for edit and delete of table data by using PHP script. We have used PHP script for update or remove of data from table. This is our testing database, in this we have one table user with three table column like id, first name and last name. We have already inserted data into this table. For learn how use this query table edit plugin we have used this simple table example. This is index page and on this page we have include JavaScript library query, bootstrap framework JavaScript and stylesheet file link and for use table edit query plugin we have download from page and store in our working folder and define in last script source link. After defining all required file link now we have write table tag with attribute it is equal to editable table with three table head column like id, first name and last name. Here we will use attribute it as selector for called table edit plugin. Now we want to load user data under this table from database, so first we have make database connection. So we have write dollar connect variable is equal to miscly connect function with four argument like host name set to local lost, user name set to root, password set to blank and database name set to testing. After making of database connection now we have write dollar query variable is equal to select star from user table order by id in descending order. This query will fetch data from table. Now we want to execute this query so we have write dollar result variable is equal to miscly query function with two argument like database connection string dollar connect variable and dollar query variable. This query will execute query and store result into dollar result variable. Now we want print data under table. So we have write while loop with dollar row variable is equal to miscly fetch array function with dollar result argument. This function will convert query result into array and store into dollar row variable. Under this loop we have write echo statement and under we have write open and close table row and between this we have write three table data tag. In first tag we have printed table column data. In second data tag we have print first name table column data and in third table data tag we have print last name column data. So this way we have print user data into table. Now we want to call table edit plugin. So we have moved to query code and here we have write dollar with table lid editable table with table edit method. By using this method we can call table edit plugin. Under this method we have write first option URL set to action.php page, this option linked to our service script. In short we can define service script page into this option. After this we have write second option columns, in this option we can define identifier column and editable columns name. This will use to identify table row. 
So under this first we have right identifier, under this we can define identifier column and here in column index we have right 0 and input name we have right id. Here we have right 0 index of table cell in which we have store user id column data and here it is our user table column name. This plugin will update or delete user data based on value of this table column. After this we have write editable option, in this we can define editable column data, so here we have write array and in first array we have write column index 1 and in input name we have write first name, and in second array in column index we have write 2 and input name we have write last name. Here 1 and 2 is the table cell number and first name and last name is the user table column name. This plugin will fetch cell value from editable option. Then after we have write restore button option set to false, here we do not want to require the restore data button so we have set to false. Lastly in table edit method we have write on success callback function with data argument. This function has been called if request completed successfully and it will receive data from server. Under this function we have write of statement and under condition we have write data dot action is equal to delete, this condition will check if data dot action value is equal to delete then it will execute if block of code. This plugin will receive data in JSON format. Under this block of code we have write dollar and in selector we have write his tag with data dotted with remove method. This will remove whole table row when data dot action value is equal to delete. Here action is a hidden field value which is created by using plugin with the creation of edit, save, delete and restore button. So when we have click on delete button then at that time hidden action field value will be delete same way when we have click on save button then action hidden field value will be save. This plugin also set table row id value as the value of a table cell. So suppose id table cell value will be 1 then that table row id will be 1. So when we have delete first table row data then if block of code will remove whole table row from table because this data has been useless to seen on web page. So here our query code is ready now we have moved to write PHP code on action.php page, and on this page first we have make database connection by using this click connection function. After this we want to get data from Ajax request, so here we have write dollar input is equal to filter input array function with input post argument, here filter input array function gets external variables from form input and optionally filters them. This have required one input type, here we have post form data so we have use input post as type. This function will convert input tag data into array and store into dollar input variable. Here this plugin has passed for input data like id, first name, last name and action and this all data convert into array and store into dollar input variable. After this we want clear string. So we have write dollar first name and dollar last name variable and by using this clear real escape string function we have escape special character from string and store into this both variable. Now we have write of statement and under condition we have write dollar input action variable is equal to edit, here this condition will check if dollar input action variable value is equal to edit then it will execute if block of code. Under this block we have write dollar query variable is equal to update user table set first name is equal to dollar first name, last name is equal to dollar last name where it is equal to dollar inputted variable. This is update query which will update first name or last name table column data based on id, 
So now we want to execute this query so we have write miscly query function with two argument like $connect variable and query variable. This function will execute query and update table data. After this we have again write if statement and under condition we have write dollar input action variable is equal to delete. This condition will check if dollar input action variable value is equal to delete then it will execute if block of code. Under this block we have write dollar query variable is equal to delete from user table where it is equal to dollar inputted variable. This is the lead query which delete data from user table based on value of id. So we want to execute this query so we have again write miscly query function with two argument like dollar connect variable and dollar query variable. This function will execute query and data will be removed from user table. So our both operation like update and delete data code is ready. Now we want to send response to Ajax request so we have write echo statement with JSON encode function and under this function we have write dollar input variable. So this way we have send response to Ajax request. And now our code is ready so we have check output in browser. Friends when page has been loaded into browser then we can see in user data in table format with edit and delete button on web page. But when we have defined table at that time we have not defined any edit or delete button. This button has been generated by table edit button. So this is the benefits of using this plugin. It has been auto generate edit delete button without writing of code. So when we have click on edit button of particular row. So after clicking on edit button that row data has been editable and save button has been appear on with delete button so we can edit data. So here we have change Peter to Peterson and click on save button. So that row color has been changed. So this way we can edit data by using table edit plugin. After this we want to delete data. So here you can see delete button in every row of data. So we have click on delete button on particular row. After clicking on delete button on confirm button has been appear on that row. So after clicking on that button it can remove data from table. So we have click on confirm button and after clicking on confirm button data has been removed on table row has been removed from web and after refresh of browser that data has not been appear on web page. So this are the functionality of this table edit plugin by using this plugin we have do not want to write code for edit and delete button but it automatically generated and this plugin has used Ajax so we can perform operation like update and delete of data on single page without refresh of web page. So if you want to build single page CRUD application you have to use this plugin for update and delete data operation. If you have any query regarding this video tutorial please comment your query under comment box, and if you like this video please share this video with your friends or even you can also share on social media also. Lastly if you want to get more update regarding our video tutorial please subscribe our YouTube channel for get update regarding future video publish. Thank you for watching this video and keep watching our video tutorial.